Um, okay, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the second of this um, virtual event series on modelling behaviour to inform policy for pandemics. Uh, we uh, on Tuesday we ran uh, the afternoon on understanding behaviours. Today uh, we're going to be looking at integrating behaviours into models. I've got to be very quick because my 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 colleagues Flavio Toxfard and Ed Hill are going to do a couple of minutes introduction following me. So this is more a housekeeping thing than anything else. But anyway, my name is Jane Beeks and I manage the Newton Gateway to Mathematics, which is the impact initiative of the Isaac Newton Institute for Mathematical Sciences. So the Newton Gateway has a key role in the RAMP continuity network, and that's rapid assistance in modeling the pandemic. It's a UKRI funded project to deliver a series of meetings, workshops and virtual study groups that react to key priority areas in the UK's response to the current pandemic. And we're very pleased to be working again with the Juniper, the Joint Universities Pandemic and Epidemiological Research Programme. Um, this event is guided by, uh, by advice from them. And um, as well as our, our um, great organisers, uh, Flavio Toxfard and Ed Hill, um, who have um, brought so much to bear with these events. We have also got Dr. Kira Dangerfield and some of her Juniper colleagues to thank as well uh, for their help. Um, and just very quickly, so there will be a few minutes for questions at the end of each talk. Our speakers have kindly agreed to allow some time for that after the presentations. And with regards to any questions and answered answers, could you please post your questions in chat or raise your hand and we will try and get to as many of you as possible. Uh, there will be a discussion session at the end of this afternoon, as there was on Tuesday and there will be tomorrow, to include those speakers who can stay. So this, you might want to catch up with some further questions for the speakers then, or more general questions about the subject area. Please stay muted throughout, but do raise your hand if you wish to speak. Um, this session is being recorded, but only speakers and organisers are seen. Um, the Q&A and discussion sessions will be recorded, but they won't be posted online. Um, and any Zoom related issues, please post in chat or email my colleague. Um, and I think there was going to be some slides up here, but they're not. But don't worry, just, just post in chat if you have any issues. Without further ado, I'd like to hand over to Flavio and Ed. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back after uh, a short break in the program. Um, so just I'm going to be very brief for the benefit of those who didn't see the introduction to the first session. The idea here really uh, with these uh, workshops is to bring together um, modelers like the people who have been engaged in the uh, in the SAGE spy M type modeling and for other social scientists and behavioral scientists who are interested uh, in better understanding behavior to come together and to see if we can forge a new a new set of models and tools to, to both understand and predict and maybe also do policy analysis uh, in, in the context of, of infectious diseases. So I'm not going to take much more of your time. Um, last, last time was on modeling behaviors and today is uh, uh, going to be all about how to, to, um, to make those insights to bear on actual uh, modeling. And so Ed, would you like to say a few words to get us started? Cheers, yeah, thanks Fabio. Uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for joining again today. Uh, so, yeah, so on Tuesday's session, we had kind of some background on behavioral science frame, uh, frameworks and uh, an overview of the kind of data sets that are presently kind of available that kind of capture behavioral characteristics and some of the challenges associated with that. Today's theme of integrating behaviors into models, we're going to be showcasing some examples of these like mechanistic modeling frameworks that have kind of interface with behavioral dynamics and I'm sure some emerging themes will arise in terms of some of the challenges faced with that and how they've been overcome and perhaps some of the challenges that remain outstanding. Uh, so yeah, thank you to all the speakers for agreeing to present to us today. And uh, with that, I'll pass to Jane, who will be chairing uh, this afternoon's session for us. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Flavio and Ed. So without further ado, I'm very pleased to introduce our first speaker of the afternoon, Caroline Walt, who's from Health Lumen, Lumen and uh, the talk is going to be about modelling infectious disease transmission potential as a function of human behaviour. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. 